Hi guys, this is Super Testnet, and today I wanted to show off my latest invention, which is Semaphore. It is a crowdfunding app that I made using Bitcoin. And uh, before I tell you about it, I want to show you how it works. So I'm just going to create a project here called Thank Super Testnet. And I'm going to go get a picture, which I will use this, uh, this little picture over here that says Thank You Super Testnet. Uh, and then I'm going to enter a project description, which I already wrote over here. Oops. There we go. I'm a freelance software developer focused on Bitcoin, Lightning, Nostra, and most recently BitVM. See what I do, and then you can view, you know, my projects and stuff over here. Um, enter how much I want to raise in Bitcoin. Let's do five Bitcoins is what I want to raise. Enter a Bitcoin address where my contribution should go. I can get that straight from my Twitter profile. And then enter a date when I want it to end. I will select uh, about a couple months from now, two months. So I'm gonna submit that, and it is gonna begin uploading the picture that I selected to Noster. And um, you know what's, uh, I've already done this, so it, when we get to the end of that, it is gonna to come to this page where it says, please download it and back up your, store your backup file. So let me do that. It's just a JSON file that has your private key in it because the website doesn't want your private key uh, to be stored in like a browser cookie or anything like that. And then second, you can click here to have a link to your project. So this is what the project looks like. Uh, it gives you a little countdown that says when the fundraiser will end, which is in about two months from now. Uh, it tells you uh, how, much of, how much I've raised toward my goal, how many pledgers I've gotten, and what, what degree of funding I've received. And this is a, a shareable link. You can share this anywhere. Uh, I'm currently doing this on testnet um, so that I don't you know, you have to pay Bitcoin fees for, for just a demo right here. But if you want to do it on mainnet, you can just uh, remove that. And in fact, by default, it, it defaults to mainnet, so you don't even have to worry about that. And if you just share this link out with people without, you know, network equal te equals testnet being in there, uh, anyone can like, you know, you can share this on Twitter, they can load it into their browser, here I'm doing it in a private window, and it'll just load up your project and then they can contribute to your fundraiser um, right here. So yeah, there we go, loaded it up. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. It's a shareable shareable public link. Um, but let's see the example. What, what makes this special is that when somebody pledges to here, they get a choice of whether they want to do reversible or irreversible. And if you click what are these, it tells you a little bit about them. But basically, if you click reversible, it's just going to show, you know, a regular Bic the, the Bitcoin address I picked. You know, you can see it ends in H E K S N, and that's the same thing that ends right here. Um, so that's just a normal, you know, Bitcoin address. But if I go back and uh, redo this, and I am going to click um, reversible now, this time it's a little bit different. This is actually using a smart contract on Bitcoin to figure out whether um, whether the goal has been reached and any any time before the goal has been reached you can take your funds back so let me put in a bitcoin address where i want the funds to go if i need a you know if i need to recover so i'll just put in the same bitcoin address right there and then an automatic refund may occur if the fundraiser does not reach its goal however automatic refunds are not guaranteed to work basically i create a bitcoin transaction and sign it um, for your refund uh, that just sends whatever your contribution is right back to your whatever address you picked. And then I upload that signature to Noster, and anyone visiting this website will find it. And if the uh, fundraiser does not has not re reached its goal, they will just broadcast a transaction sending you your money back. But this thing is time locked, so they can't do that until, um, until after the fundraiser ends. Um, so the contributor also gets a backup file that contains their private key so that they can do this by themselves without relying on you know other people to do an automatic refund for them. And then they get this, which is a Bitcoin address, and you'll notice it's different. It doesn't end in you know the one I picked. This is actually a smart contract. Um, this has two keys in it, um, my, the contributor's key as well as the, um, uh, the other person's key. And uh, I'm just going to go to mutinynet.com's faucet and contribute to it from there. Uh, so let's just contribute you know, 100,000 sats toward the fund. So I will go ahead and do that. And cool. So they just, uh, I got MutinyNet to just send me 100,000 sats to this. It should detect it any second. And when it does, it ought to say, um, it ought to tell us that a, a pledge was detected. There it goes. Pledge detected. Enter a public comment to send with it. And this part's optional, but I'm going to do it. 
you know, thank you so much for your hard work. Submit. <clears throat> and now what it's doing, so this Bitcoin address has two public keys in it, right? It's got the contributors and the, um, and the recipients, the person doing the fundraiser. And now it's creating a signature that allows the person doing the fundraiser to take the money if and only if they reach their goal, if and only if they reach five Bitcoins. So this is using the fact that Bitcoin, tri Bitcoin signatures are composable. If you have a bunch of signatures on a bunch of Bitcoin transactions, you can aggregate them into one big transaction. And so uh, this guy is going to take all the con contributions he gets, and only if he reaches the five Bitcoin goal from the sum of all of his contributions, all of those signatures, only then does he have a val valid Bitcoin transaction that he can um, um, that he can use to claim those funds. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty neat. Um, I have I have a contribution. There's a little public comment here that says thank you so much for your hard work. And uh, what's cool is uh, up until this fundraiser ends, and and you know even even beyond that, if he ha if the uh, goal has not been reached, if the goal has not been reached, the contributor cannot take the funds. And so you still have, as the contributor, you still have uh, a revoke button. Like you've, there's two spending paths on this um, Bitcoin on the Bitcoin address I sent money to. One of them lets me, the contributor, just take the money back, and the other one lets the um, fundraiser take the money only if they have a signature from me that allows them to do so. And that signature is only valid if they reach their, to their goal. So this allows for revocable um, you know, things. If I, if I want my money back, I can be like, hey, I'm gonna take that money and I'm gonna send it you know, to myself. So copy that, uh, put it in here. It'll ask what uh, rate I wanna pay and I just wanna do you know, one set per byte. So then it gives me a transaction to broadcast. And I can do that on mutinynet.com. Just go to their bro transaction broadcaster and boom. Cool, I just broadcasted that and took my money back. It went out of, uh, the, out of the address that I had sent it to, which was this one, uh, that 100,000 sats, and it sent it to you know, the testnet version of my Bitcoin address. So yeah, I was able to recover my funds, and if I go refresh this uh, this pledge this page here now, if I refresh this, that pledge no longer shows up. You know the website detects that money has been spent. The signature is no longer valid. The signature that would have let you know the the fundraiser take the money is no longer valid, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Once only once he reaches his goal, can he actually take his money. So that's um, Semaphore. Uh, another crowdfunding thing with Bitcoin. And uh, you might wonder, why did I make this? Well, I made it because um, stuff like Geyser, if I go to geyser.fund, you know, this is a common um, website for doing fundraisers in Bitcoin. And it's kind of got a problem. You know, if I want to contribute to this fundraiser, say, um, well, there's already some JavaScript problems happening on this page. Uh, let's see. So if I want to contribute, I only get, um, not, not through Lightning, I want to contribute, mine doesn't support Lightning, so I guess that's uh, an advantage of theirs. Uh, let's just say I wanted to do five, five fifty thousand cents. Uh, continue. Uh, here is my comment. So this Bitcoin address is theirs, right? If I, if I look at this, this Bitcoin address is created by whoever is running this fundraiser, and it's the only option. Like, if once I send money to that, where'd it go? Once I send money to that, I can't get it back. Like, Geyser doesn't doesn't have the ability to do this because they don't have this smart contract that I that I'm using. Um, so I, I, that's the difference. Like with my fundraising thing, it doesn't support Lightning yet, which is an advantage of theirs. But uh, it's revocable, right? If if they don't make it, if they don't reach their goal. At any time, I can just take my money back, and in fact, the website will try to automatically send me my money back um, if they don't reach their goal by the time you know the two months are up. So, yeah, I think that's kind of neat, and uh, I hope you guys think that's interesting. Um, that's why I made it. And uh, hey, guys, you feel free. You know, it's free and open source software. As with all of my projects, it is going to be on, it is on my GitHub at uh, Semaphore, GitHub.com. The link will be under here. Uh, and you can take a look. All the all the code is in this HTML file right here. Uh, so, 
yep, you can take a look at that. Co feel free to copy anything that you find interesting. But yeah, this allows you to do crowdfunding with Bitcoin and without needing, um, uh, without, with the ability to recover your funds if, they, if the person doesn't, make, doesn't reach their goal. So, uh, and yeah, and no custodians are involved here. I'm not using a custodian. I did have a previous project called Rise where you use an oracle who checked whether, you know, whether, whether, your, fund, uh, whether your project reached its goal or not. Um, but I remade it without, I, re I made Semaphore without using an oracle for that because Bitcoin itself can check, you know, using signatures which commit to um, the amount being sent and the amount uh, in the destination. Yeah, Bitcoin itself can actually check whether you reached your goal or not. Oh, one more thing. Uh, this is based on another project called um, Lighthouse. And this is actually kind of where it gets its name. Uh, Lighthouse, Bitcoin, my current. Uh, yeah, this this guy, v, v Numeris, not, not this Bitcoin Cash version. Mike Hearn was an old Bitcoin developer in the OG days who made a project um, called Lighthouse, which was designed for, it was a crowdfunding app that's very similar to mine. Uh, used the same, you know, multi-signature multi and, um, and, and signature stuff. I think, it, well, actually, I don't know if he used multi-sig, but he used the same signature tricks that I'm using to commit to an amount. Uh, and he used it for public works. His idea was like, if, if a community wants to crowdfund the creation of a lighthouse, they should be able to do that on Bitcoin without needing um, centralized third parties to be involved. Uh, and he abandoned this, you know, please note this project is no longer maintained. Um, he abandoned it and it, it, I wanted to remake it. Um, so that's kind of what Semaphore is based on, except uh, he did copyright, he said in here, um, that the the lighthouse code is is free and open source but the lighthouse logo and name are not so i m named mine semaphore because that's similar to a lighthouse in that you know it's a big structure that's intended to signal um to far away people some kind of message um but yeah mine, mine's totally free and open source you can use the name you can change it you can modify it, you can do whatever you want with the code um everything everything is free and open source including the name and the logo so public domain software baby anyway that's uh that's semaphore and i hope you guys like it and uh yeah I'm, i've also now got this um project so i'm just going to back up my backup file on here uh not that one for this project rather so now i have it saved and if you want to i'm going to share this link this one is on mainnet and if anybody actually wants to contribute to me I will share this link under there, and uh, and you can actually help me reach you know my five Bitcoin goal within the next two months, and we'll see if it happens. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you later.